Got shaky videos or clips that don't fit right? In this video, we're checking out Final Cut Pro for some awesome fixes. From shaky shots to sizing and quality tweaks, let's make your videos pro level with Final Cut's Magic Touch. Here we go. Check out this clip we've got from a Digicam. Watch how those quick side-to-side -side movements can really mess up what you're trying to capture. But guess what? We've got a fix for that. First things first, we'll pick the clip and head over to the inspector, found on the top right side. If you can't spot it, look for this icon with three sliders and switch to the film strip icon for the video inspector. Scroll down to find the rolling shutter effect in the inspector window. Tick that box and apply it to your clip. Now you can control how much of this magic you want to use. None, low, medium, high, or extra high. And here's a little tip. The higher the value, the more it fixes the weirdness, but it might make your footage look a bit zoomed in. But why does that happen, you ask? Well, the rolling shutter effect is like a super smart editor. It spots any wonky frames and adjusts things like position, rotation, scale, and distortion to make them right. For example, it can straighten out things like electrical post, but sometimes it leaves a gap at the edges that can only be fixed by zooming in a bit. Imagine doing that for every frame. That's why we're thankful for the Final Cut Pro heroes for giving us rolling shutter to sort out our speedy shots. Let's take a look at the clip before and after. We've got another clip here, and it's handheld, so it's a tad shaky. Let's give the built-in stabilization tool a whirl to steady things up a bit. This tool's a bit like the rolling shutter effect, but it can leave a gap around the edges of the footage, and the only way to fix it is by scaling the image up a bit. To give it a go, we'll select the clip and head back to the video inspector. Look for the checkbox next to stabilization and tick it then let Final Cut do its thing by analyzing the footage. Once the effect kicks in, we can play around with these settings a bit. Click on the method drop-down arrow. Initially, it's set to automatic, which means it picks between inertia cam or smooth cam based on its analysis. In our case, it chose the smooth cam correction, and here are the settings it used. We've got controls to adjust how much it fixes position changes, that's the translation, helpful for shaky movements on the X and Y axes. We can also tweak how it deals with rotations. And with scale, we can adjust how it handles Z axis movements. These are the final tweaks we've made. And here's how it looks now compared to how it was originally. Cool, right? You might want to test out Inertia Cam, a special fix for footage with camera movements like pans and zooms. There's a slider to adjust how much smoothing we apply. Take a peek at how it changes with more or less smoothing. In this case, it's a better fit than Smooth Cam for this clip. Hey, before we move on, why not spread some positivity by giving that thumbs up button a little love? Not only does it let me know if I'm explaining things well, but it also helps others find this video. Thanks a bunch! Tripod mode might be available depending on how shaky the footage is. If it's not too shaky, there's a chance tripod mode could work. Take a look at this clip, it's quite stable even with a bit of movement. If we switch on tripod mode, it mimics the steady effect of a camera on a tripod. Check out how smooth and stable it becomes. Cool, right? Here's another cool trick that might help. Have you ever had a video from your phone or another camera that doesn't quite match the size of your project? Well, in just a few clicks, you can make it fit right in. Look for Spatial Conform at the bottom of the Video Inspector menu. If you pick Fit, the clip adjusts to fit the screen without cutting anything out. Sometimes, there might be some empty spots if the sizes don't match perfectly. But if you choose Fill, the clip takes up the whole screen. Yet, if the sizes don't match, parts of the clip might be cut off. And if you go with None, the clip stays in its original size. If the clip's size is bigger than the project's, it might get cut in the viewer. And if the clip is smaller, it might have empty spots around it. Usually, Fit and Fill 
work best to save time and fit your project nicely. Rolling shutter, stabilization, and spatial conform are awesome tools to save time when your video needs a little fix up. Now it's time to learn how to make your videos even better in Final Cut Pro. I'll show you how to boost your video quality and fix problems like blurriness or graininess. You'll end up with super pro looking videos. Click here to see how it's done.